Hey yo guys, what's going on man? It's your boy Max Winning uh, Out here in Avon Lake, Ohio About to go see my good friend JP JP's a well known uh, car enthusiast in the area Got some fast cars, couple fast cars We're gonna go take a look at those I'll get into it with him a little bit So I'm out here uh, It's like 6.30 so we gotta hurry up Catch some rollers before the light drops So, you know, we're on it So we'll be there in about 5 minutes stuff out now but 406 most definitely before um before i actually got one of these i was you know i was, I was like oh yeah corvettes yeah right but after yeah. owning one i'm like all right I <laughs> What's going on everybody? So we're out here in Avon with my buddy JP's 2006 Chevy Corvette. The car is a black car, wrapped matte gray. Nice little stuff, look to it at nighttime, looks great. Pretty fast car, ran like a low 10 at the, at the drive strip. The guy drives it to work, drives it around town. Pure street car, pretty quick. JP definitely knows what he's doing behind the wheel at the racetrack. So let's uh, let's take it, let's check it out. Yeah, yeah. I got well, you. It's weird, like, I'm gonna cut that 
Oh. I'll cut that out. <laughs> it's weird in this car, like the cold, you never miss 30. You gotta think about putting it in 30. Okay. In right. this car, you just gotta push up. It's weird to say. Like, if you shifted the other car, like you shifted this car, you'd stuff it right in the first gear. Right. With this car, you put it, you just push forward, it goes in third gear every time. It's the weirdest thing. It puts you center right away. It's yep. great. Yeah. The Z is bad, like you have to find the shit. It's like yeah, it's annoying. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. it's the between like I'm so used to doing this. I'm so programmed to do this, that's just how it works. So if I do this, you miss it every time. Yeah, yeah. You over overcompensating yeah. third. But this guy you literally just put your palm on it, push it up. And that's what every Corvette's guys did. That's crazy. But I swear you do it like that, you hit the gear every time. It's so weird. Yeah. But like watch, if I just I just like palm right, I'm gonna just put right up. Lightning fast, yeah, yeah. It's like, just, just you just gotta work. push up. That's it's it. so like you have to I have to remind myself which car I'm driving to not otherwise seek. I miss third. Don't seek, yeah, yeah. Alright everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Max Winning. Out here in Avon, Ohio. Out west from where I'm usually at, it's about 40 minutes. Um with my buddy here, JP. What's up, boss? What's up, bro? How you doing? Good to see you, man. Old friend of mine, you know what I mean? Old uh Season veteran car dude, you know what I mean? Racer OG, OG. you know. Uh, thanks for having me, man. We're, right, we're in this man's house. This man's busy, man. Came to his garage, drove out, got a chance to ride in the vet. I made it, so you know, <laughs> that's a good thing. He was easy on me, so. Yeah, he pulled up. Um, we had all the kids running around. Yeah. It's life, bro. Yeah, it was a good life. All the kids were playing, yeah. bunch of little Hot Wheels and <laughs> Power Wheels and. So it's, it's, it's all in the family here, so definitely uh, he made the time for us, so grateful, man. Uh, so tell us about this car, dude. This thing is pretty, pretty gnarly, dude. Yeah, man, it's a, it's a healthy, pretty healthy a girl. Healthy girl. I mean, you know, I I wasn't really looking for a vet when I got it. As well as things, uh, I'm like, you man, hustle. You gotta hustle, right? That's it. I'm always looking for the deal, always looking for the next thing. You got multiple income streams. And mine's always been, you know, finding a good deal on a car. And uh, this came up, man. You know, on those Facebook feeds, when you're looking, you're looking, you're feed. scrolling. Yeah. And I'm like, man, this looks like a deal. So I hit up my boy that, that does these cars. And uh, I'm like, is this a deal? He called me immediately. He's like, where's your car? He's like, he's like, I've never seen one that cheap clean title before in my life. I'm like, hmm, maybe I need to go see it. So long story short, I ended up picking it up. Nice. I got a good deal on it. And uh, I had every intention to flip it, fix it up, fix it to him. And, uh, you know, I brought it home. And the wife's like, that's the nicest car you got, you can't sell it. The wife. So, yeah, happy man. Happy wife, so, happy life. Yeah, so, 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 so here it is. It is still here. I mean, everything's for sale, but it's, I, I really enjoy the car. So, it's something I grew into. It's something that uh, now that I, I have one that's, that's you know, pretty heavily modified, it's like, it's really crazy how capable these cars are. Yeah, it's pretty good. Same, insane. Definitely. I remember like, I remember like 2K down Texas, all the racing, it's all you see. For the most part, maybe right. now it's a little bit more diverse, but that that's a the majority. The staple car of like racing is like this car right here, 2006. So it's really ahead of its time. Some features in the car he was telling me about on the way up here. So killing them from you know 12 years ago, pretty nutty. Yeah. Pretty nutty. So so I mean you know we go back. I've been in Ohio for about eight years now. I bet you six years ago or something like that. So I know this guy for a long time. Mm -hmm. You have a lot more history in, in, with, with cars and racing in Ohio, way beyond my tenure here. So, tell us about like how did you start? Like, what got you into cars? I mean, the start's pretty funny. The start was, uh, you know, just grew up, uh, just grew up in the hood, kid with uh, not a lot of money, and um, I still wanted. You know, at first it was systems, right? Everybody starts with systems, TV, sounds in the trunk, you know. And, but I got beat, I had a Toyota Tercel, bro, and I got beat by every single car I ever tried to race. Honda Civics, moms and minivans. Things that everything. didn't belong while everything. racing, yeah. So I'm like, man, this is crazy. So I want, hey, I'm gonna turbo my car. Turbo the car, blow it up. So my, my dad's like, hey, you know, I'll help you buy a normal car if you stop doing this stuff. Okay. I'm like, you know what, dad? Dude, wow. I'm just gonna figure it out, man. Too late, yeah. I'm figuring it out. And then it just kind of snowballed from there, and then, you know, found out Mitsubishi's, you know, and then, and then Mitsubishi's really been w what I've been about for a long time. Yeah, he's real, he's a, he, he's a real, he's a real deal, some guy, the old stuff, make a lot of power, things like that. The all the drive stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
So yeah, so been around that block quite a bit. Absolutely. A little few, you know, DSM, some Dodge Colts with DSM motors in them, and uh, they're great at making power, man. You know, it's for 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 a very for a very uh, low investment. Yeah, you yeah, bang for the bus, buck. So, big bang for the buck. You know what you're doing, man. They get a bad name because. You get these kids. People that, abuse the cars. I feel like you get these kids that don't know what they're doing. They see the potential in it, but they don't know what they're doing. They blow it up, and then all the kids are like, "Ah, these cars suck." You know, it is. They get a bad rap from that. You know, it's not the the Honda community is definitely something that uh, the people are is is crazy. Is maybe a little more mature. The people that are racing them are spending good money to buy quality parts, That's taking them to a tune. It's, 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 it's not as easy to abuse an NA car like a turbo car. That's what I've always. Correct. Have that mentality, like, well, you yeah. turn it up and a it's a terrible from the fact that it's a great point. Turn it up and and pray, and you know, ride it until it blows up, and you wonder why the cars don't work out when you don't do it the right way. But mm -hmm. any car is kind of hard to to abuse that way. So yeah, you can probably beat on it all the way to Florida and back, and it'd be fun. It'd be fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot less parts, a lot of things, you know, yep. a lot less things going on. So. Yep. So yeah, I mean, you know, everybody knows you for for the DSM stuff, definitely. So yeah. still tune them. Yeah, I probably yep. tune 20, 30 cars a year. We all, all everybody with a DSM that we know comes to this band programs the cars, tunes them up, knows them in and out about the tuning process, works on them. It's a guy to go to, you know what I mean? But it doesn't really have a shop, or you kind of do it as as a leisure. You're just looking at right it here. I mean, the, you know, I've always, yeah, man, I've always built everything that I've owned. I've always built myself, you know. Uh, you know, tune, fabricate, engine build, the whole nine yards. When it comes to other cars, customer cars, nowadays I don't have time for it. Before I had yeah. kids, I'd build cars, and they were always nicer than mine. You know, it's, yeah, it's yeah, just like, care more. So much, as mm. crazy as it sounds, there's so much stuff that I do to my car because I, I find it fun to like see how far I can take something that isn't supposed to make the power. For so sure, like the, for you know, sure. the, 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 the connecting rods in my car right now are all supposed to land at 500 horsepower. You know, I'm probably making a thousand at the crank. It makes 900 off four wheels. So that's, you know, it's like a way beyond what, but I find that fun. You know, would I do that to a customer? Yourself. Of course yeah. not. No, right. because right. I'd be afraid that it'd blow up every time you hit it. But if my car blows up, it's okay, you know? Yeah, you It's weird, a different feel. mentality, but yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I still enjoy it, man. It keeps, you gotta find something that keeps you, you know, everybody's like, got their vice, right? Yeah. And you gotta find something that, I think, you know, doing the car thing is a, health, a healthy vice. It's like a good passion. Yeah. You gotta have passion right. about things in life. Mm -hmm. You can't live a boring life, you know what I mean? So, that's awesome. All right, so getting back to this thing right here. Mm -hmm. So tell us about, t tell us about the mods on this car. I know we understand it's pretty, really modified. Yeah, uh, cnc heads, um, you know, about the biggest cam you put in the car. You know, the cam, everything's set up for a thousand horsepower. Okay. It's got a, a 250 wet nitrous kit on it, multi-stage. It's only been sprayed in the dyno, thankfully, because the motor's still good. Yeah. You know, it makes about 600 on motor now to the top. You know, it's about oh. 700 the crankshaft. It's it's significant. It's like free power, no no power rider whatsoever. It's just crazy. just drive it. And it's just so crazy it can do that it's it on is. motor. But Agreed. um, but yeah, the the, the cans ahead, so it's got an RPM transmission, a triple disc carbon clutch. Um, but uh, you know, long tube headers, full exhaust, inch exhaust. Yeah. Been tuned by Backstreet Performance. So that really, you know, th that's really what opens things up. You know, you could buy all these parts and put them together. Same thing in the Mitsubishi, same thing in NA. Yep. You know, when I, the first pull on this car off the street, it made 542. You know, and just in the tuning. It was ready to go. Yeah. yeah. Just in the tuning, right. you know, you pick up over 50 horse parts. It's significant. You gotta know what you're doing. Yeah. 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 So it's, uh, it's man, I tell you, it, I mean, it went 10.4, it went 10.4 at I mean, 133 like, miles an hour on motor. I yeah. thought, I thought, I was, I, when you when you told me that, I, I thought you had a little shot of it. I thought, no, I've never seen this guy. Capability is amazing. It's I crazy. thought that's what I thought. Everybody thinks that. Yeah. But I had, I literally that day, I had the people that were there, I'm like, take a picture of the car with the no nitrous, with no bottles in it, because like, I was even surprised. I'm like, I, I think I can get a 10 out of this car. And then I, 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 the first pass, I missed the shift and went 10-1 at like 100 mile an hour. I'm like, this thing's going really fast. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 this thing, this she's going to roll, man. This thing's over So yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, like two passes later, uh, you go 10-4, I'm like, I'm good, you know? Because yeah, I want to drive it home, right? It's, yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah. Uh, obviously with stickier tires. Because, uh, you know, with the, the street tires, it's hard to hook up, but I mean, on motor, it's just, it's crazy, man. It's mind blowing. It's amazing. Because because the car, like, it's really, really commanding. Third gear never ends. It no. just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. And the like faster you go, the faster wants to go, man. It's crazy. That, with that big camshaft, you really sacrifice some low end power. Yeah. But you pick up so much in the top end. It's, Definitely. It's, it's like it's, for like road racing, it's really, really nice. 
That's why you see so many of them out there, man. Because then when you put power to them, turbo, supercharges, it's just, as long as you can hook it up, man, it, it's up to beat. It's up to beat. You gotta have a couple of extra hundred horsepower. And that's coming from a guy that's not a Corvette guy. Yeah, this <laughs> yeah, is a furthest thing from a, a, a NA V8. This is a turbo inline four. Dude. All day. You know what I mean? Still to this day. All wheel drive. This thing is the polar opposite of what you've always done. Yeah. Which is why I felt the need to come out here really and, and get in your head about it because it, it surprised a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I understand you got the deal. I know that. I know you better than that, but he's gonna he's gonna sell the car. <laughs> you know. <laughs> We'll link link at the wife. bottom of the video for yeah, sale. Yeah, for sale. Yeah, <laughs> let me know. Yeah, man. Definitely, like, but I, I get it. I mean, it's what you've really seen, how capable yeah. the car is. And that's great about learning about new things. Yeah, you know? well, yeah, 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 absolutely. You would never think. Yeah, because I did, uh, I did a twin turbo um, LS, the RX-7. Okay, you know? yeah, that, yeah. You know? oh. And that, according to the internet, right, is the, the highest horsepower of a, a bone stock LS1 motor. I made 870 wheel horsepower. I think it was nuts. We were talking stock cam, stock heads. Hold I just on. kept giving it boost until Hold we on. ran out of fuel. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, you know, and that's obviously a much less capable motor than this one. In yeah. terms of smaller and it's, it's always and like 2000. Yeah. Um, but that was kind of opening the door to the LS and like, you know, the potential is just unbelievable. You know, and you see these guys making 12, 13 or horsepower on these stock Escalade motors and stuff now. It's just, the temptation is real to do another one of those cars, but you know it's uh, this is this is nice to get in because you can go to work. It's oh yeah, know. it looks great. Yeah, man. I mean it's yeah. Swap cars are have their own temperaments. Yeah. This is you know, this I, thing rides in stock. Yeah, yeah. Great. and I work at a bank. You know I can't pull to the bank and like uh, you know one of my one of my hooties. Hood hood ho, dump smoke <laughs> yeah. smoke <laughs> smoke like oil. It's tell me go home. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My yeah. pink slip. For real, for real. <laughs> Leave it there. Yeah. It's great, man. Yeah. Great. So yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna stick around. I think I think while. it'll be a, yeah, it'll be a while. Though, you man. know, another, another yeah, good man. good summer. And uh, yeah, dude, I mean it's it's, it's crazy. Like I have the, I have the footage when I was in the car. I have great rollers. You guys will see that as well. I mean it's just, it just looks great. It's wide. Mm -hmm. it's, yes, it's weird. It's it's, 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 it's like it's like as wide as a dually. It's not. Because they broke a. First time on the track, I broke an axle, and uh, my boy E Rock, E Rock Speed Shop, had to. Uh, shout out to E Rock. Shout out to E Rock. Thanks for the tow, bro. For real. You know, because uh, this like thing's so fine. low, you know, it's, yeah. a, it's two. He measured it it's two and a half inches off the ground. It's a factory. They just call it a race car, man. It's crazy. Called, it's great. So uh, they, um, you know, he came out and got me, and the thing's like, he's got a real nice trailer. That thing is like hanging off. He's like, this thing is wider than uh, Miguel's dude. They told his dude. Right. And, I'm, and like I looked it up, it's literally as wide as a dude. It's like, you don't realize. Give it a comparison. Yeah, you don't know until you have to be in a situation where you need to get the car up somewhere. Yeah. And the thing's like a damn house. Yes. You know? It's low, but it's wide. That's what it is. It's the <laughs> best thing. Um, you were telling me some, some really fun stuff about the OEM aspects of a Z06 opposed to a regular Corvette. Yeah, yeah. This guy knows a lot about that, vets. I, he's stuff that I didn't even know about. All of a sudden, now he's like a vet. Right, now, now he's <laughs> You know what I mean? You do, a, you do a lot of Googling, my friend. Right. You know what I mean? Well, you Tell us a little bit about Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like, it's, uh, you know, all aluminum frame, all Corvettes are, but the Z06 takes it a step further. It's got magnesium subframe. So, the front and rear with the rear differential and the transmission bolt up, and the engine's actually made out of magnesium. So, it's out of lighter. Okay, lighter than aluminum. Okay, still, still same it's strength? Like, yeah, it's like titanium. Similar strength. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I, you know, the one, the big thing, you know, magnesium can explode if it's hot enough, right? It can really okay. explode. Or shatter. Each yeah. yeah. So okay. It's, so it's like, uh, it, but it, but it's, it's very light, right? So everything about the car is light. Obviously, aluminum block. Uh, yeah. It's got a dry sump oil system. Right. It's like a race car. Like, you, you pay, like, people pay thousands of dollars to go to a dry sump. This car is going to stop. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, too proud to admit that the first time I was like, I got to check the oil and say, Wait, where did it go? Yeah, it's in, it's it? in the can. It's in the oil can in the corner of the car because that's where all the oil is. There's no oil in the motor. Right, 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 right. <laughs> what is this? So it's like, yeah, stuff like that. You know, just it, you know, obviously everything that the the Z06 suspension is all different. The all race right. inspired. The newer ones had magnesium adjustable stuff, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy once you like get really into it. Like, about the view. Yeah, yeah. And and I I got more of a respect for it. You know, much more respect after. Finding out how much effort was put in to make it as great as the car as it is, and like, Definitely. you know, Definitely. it's it's you know you go to the car show and see all the old men with them. Yeah, that's the thing. People look at it a certain way. Chair. 
Yeah. Pull out the lawn chair. So yeah. it's like, Old they style. get a little bit of a bad rap, but really like, especially Z06, man, it really is like, it's, you know, you just look at the lap time and see how the cable car is stopped. What they made back then is amazing. Yeah, and then you just slide a can in it, right? Yeah. And, and before you even heads, you make Easy. 60, 70 horsepower. Easy. Yeah. You know, you put, put heads on, raise the compression, a couple other things, and you make 600 on motor. It's just insane. It's crazy. It's crazy. Seven liters, man. It's a big, it's big, a big, big It's a big boy, yeah. Oh, seven, motor, yeah. gearing, tires, man. The holy trinity. This thing has to have it all complete back. Mm -hmm. I always never would like it to race these cars. I didn't either until I got one. Man, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you can't beat them, join them, you know? Right, right. Um, cool rep. Done by a buddy of ours. Cool rep. Looks great. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely a lot of people ask about it, think it's paint, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, right you know, up our rally, you know what I mean? I mean, that's, mm -hmm. you know, bro. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably a good percentage of your business now. Because, yeah. I mean, it really is like, you want to set your car apart. Definitely. I mean, awareness you know, is raising. In uh, an Ohio state that's kind of behind because of the weather. So you go down to Cali in Florida and they're really advanced with vinyl wrapping and a lot of this fun stuff. But people are getting more aware thanks to people like myself, even people like you that are driving around these cars. I so get asked about it every time I go somewhere. That's it. That's what I tell people. Every stop like the first, conversation. Every, you know, because you know, I'll talk to them too. It's like, hey, hell yeah. Hey, every time I go somewhere, it's like, oh man, it's a great paint job all the time. Thing. That's right, what? You know, like, who'd you get it? How much was it? They got all the questions. So yeah, it's, it's, it, it is, uh, it's definitely something in, in, you know, as opposed to paint, you know, something that you can go in three years and I'm going to do something different. Take it off, yeah. And it just, yeah. it's just done. You don't have to go and, you know, re grind your spray. Because, like, you know, you can get a cheap paint job anywhere for a car like this, you know. It's going to show, yeah, and you got to take stuff apart. It really, really helps us with the vinyl. Keep the stock paint protected the exactly. same. You detail it, you're good to go. All my cars are wrapped, obviously, so I uh, totally understand and live by that. You know, I do my cars every twice a year with each of them, so. Mm -hmm. That's cool, man. That's cool. Let me know if you're going to change. Mm -hmm. I got some for you, for the hood, baby, with the black camel. I'm lucky you already got you already got the idea. Yeah, I already know too. <laughs> you know, the fantasizing about stuff like that, so. I love I'm, it. I'm gonna plant the seed, you know. That's why you're an artist. Yeah. That's something that. that something that uh, it's an, an artist. Eye. It's an eye. Yeah. And then, and like you know how to put carpers together. Right. But you're an artist too. In a way. You know. More of a inventory engineer. Yeah. Thinking long. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing uh, where the weak link is. Yeah. You know? We're trying to find it. That's what racing is all about. You know, you know, I'm actually, uh, dude, man, thanks a lot, man. Thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, super appreciate it. Fun ride for the car. I'll let you drive because you know, I like my life. You know, so. <laughs> she's just, uh, you know, she's, she's a little sporty. You gotta learn how to rub it the right way. Yeah. You know? We need like 30 more degrees outside, but it's awesome tour. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Hey. I appreciate you coming out, man. It's always hey. good seeing you. It's, it's nah, man, man. I'm on the other side of the world, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a bit far. A bit far, an hour away. But, like, you know, it's it's awesome here and congrats on everything, man. Thanks, bro. And the appreciate family, you, the house, some of the people, the, the, the loans, providing dreams for people. It's an amazing thing. I had a conversation with somebody about that today. It's like, you know, it's not about, you know, it's not about, uh, you know, how much money can I make or you know, how big my commission can I get. But you always have to have a mentality of, of, of uh, you know, how can people. Definitely. You know, and if you're always thinking like, how can I help this person? Absolutely. And if you're always like, you're going to be successful whatever you do. That's you it, know? man. That's it. Very, very simple. Mm -hmm. Somebody comes in my shop, it's like, a lot of stuff. I have to pay my bills, obviously, and you know, keep my everybody good. But of course. I want to have fun with this person. I want to help them, you know, achieve their vision with their cars. Mm -hmm. So, it's important. And like, you know, me personally, I don't want to get off subject too much, but the less I've worried about money, the more of me. It's the truth. It's a hundred percent. That's key to <clears throat> And and then you know, in, in your business is, is so different than mine. How, however, that aspect is exactly the same. And Absolutely. anything anything where you're dealing with people, it's going to be like that. And and if, let me talk, I'm, I'm honest. You know, when I was back in managing, I was managing, and, and I heard that, I'm like, this guy's crazy, man. This, what's this guy trying to tell me right now? And now that I've lived my life a little more, like I see it's it's honestly true. The less you worry about how much you're going to make and how, like you know helping the people that you are helping. The more you're gonna make it comes back around. It's 100 bro. Ways that maybe not immediately, but it definitely does overall. And you just have to live the life for it's feeling better. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right, dude. Well, again, appreciate it. Good talking, This bro. guy has like a thousand, a thousand all wheel horsepower colt behind us too. So we will reconvene with this man. Don't look. Yeah. Back don't look behind. She's hiding, and creeping <laughs> on you guys. So we will definitely get up with him, perhaps in the spring, and we'll. 
you know, we'll be seeing this dude again, so. Might be making a little more in spring. Yeah, we might see where the breaking point is, hopefully not. <laughs> you know. We got backup mode, it's time. For sure, you got a whole bunch. Yeah. All right, well, thanks again. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay winning.